Mixed martial arts is one of the most fierce, intense, rapidly growing sports in the world today, with such stars as Michael Bispin, Brock Lesnar, Chuck Liddell and Rampage Jackson. But today we take a snapshot into the life of former champion Dave Fullblast Faulkner. Now a coach, Dave trains some of the next generation of fighters. Dave will give us an insight into the life of a professional MMA fighter and coach. I'd always wrestled anyway. I'd always wrestled since I was 11. And um, there's a few of the guys who heard about this Valley 2, though, mixed martial art thing. It was the UFC before anyone even knew it, ex knew it existed. It was like the early 90s. Prime example was Paul Coon. Just fell in love with it. He used to wrestle. And he, he started a little bit later than all of us, but just got into it deeper than all of us. And, it, and then the next evolutionary step was MMA after watching UFC. And then um, he just went abroad one day. And the opportunity arise, arose for me in like 2002. And because I needed the money. I mean, I thought I was in a world of death. It was only 300 quid on a credit card, but it was 200 quid with the help towards it. And I got offered it and I fought uh, some heavyweight for it. And just the buzz of it. Well, the first time, I mean, I'd only just become a dad for the first time, and that was, like, overwhelming me. As soon as I become a dad, it just went all out the window. So any nerves I would have normally have had um, just didn't exist whatsoever. I was just thinking about, oh, I need to clean myself of debt. So um, that's all I was focused on. And to be honest, I, I never really, I'd never realised how hard MMA was. I'd never trained as hard. People do this, they get into fights, go, they go into fights and not realise how hard it is and feel invincible. The moment they feel tired, it's, it's a total different kettle of fish. But the first time I went in there, I was totally hyped because my life had totally changed. I mean, one minute, I was just like, I was an earth-loving vegan <laughs> at one point. And then next, I mean, who hadn't wrestled, I hadn't wrestled for years and then the next I've been given a fight. I was a dad as well, so it was just totally overwhelming, so it was a bit insane for me. I just felt insane. Do you want a fight? Well, I've, got, I've always had an issue with my gum shield, so it's usually I'm going to start feeling sick on this, but I've got to start focusing on more positive stuff than that, to be honest. Um, normally, I mean, everyone expects me to do flashy things. When, I, when I'm training in the gym, I, do, I can pull off flashy kicks and do lots of flashy submissions, but when I fight, I don't normally do that, I play it like really by the book and just give nothing away. I just always think, I don't want this guy to hit me, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna take everything away from him, I'm gonna take all his tools away from him and imply myself upon him. But apart from that's all it is, that's, you can call it being in the zone, that's, that's what I, I'm like. But a lot of the time as well, in between rounds, I just think another round, another round, and every round goes through, I know I'm getting closer to like, I, li I like having egg and chips after a fight, you see. That's fantastic. Um, and that's I, I, and there's about four of my fights that's gone through my mind. I think, oh, after this fight, I'm just going to eat whatever I want. And it motivates you. It motivates you so much. It's unreal. Wanting to find out more about Dave, we travel to Golden Glory Gym in St. Helens to learn more about Dave's career as a coach and the relationship he has with Terry, one of his trainees. Um, I just fell into the coaching part. I mean, I wrestled since I, was, I wrestled since I was 11. Like everyone was trying to get to MMA when the big explosion happened in Liverpool, especially like the CFC show. I mean, I was the first fight on that, but after that, I was like injured or I was working, whatever, and it didn't really appear on them for a while. But like people who wanted to learn, was like a lot of people coming to me, and then people offered me to do classes, and then I was getting money to do it. It was amazing to ask for things. A lot of the time, when people are saying, I'm fighting this type of guy, I'm fighting this, what to do? And a lot of people, even like the darker side of things, people were having straighteners with other people. And they'd say, oh, come and teach me about that, because he doesn't know that, he's just a boxer. Stuff like that, it was just, people asked me to, and I was just there, and I just said, yeah. I mean, it's nerve-wracking for me. So, so I don't really get nervous for fights now, so it, that's like, even when I did, it's not as nerve-wracking as someone else, because you're not in control, you're not having use of it. Um, I mean, it's proud when they win, but a, a proud moment, I save it. I don't even think for a second, yeah, I'm so proud of them, I never do that, never stand back until after the fight, then I let them know. I don't like putting fighters on the chopping block, for, uh, I don't like them putting them up for, uh, to be shot down and that, so I always make sure they're totally ready, but, um, but with them nerves, either, I mean, it makes the, when, when they do win, um, I mean, ratio's good, they do win more than they lose, so it makes that even ten times better, but... It's like when they lose, and especially uh, young Terry will teach, 
um, he had a fight with Wavertree and he, it was a tournament, he got to the final and uh, he blatantly won the last fight, he blatantly won it, but it was went to the decision and they give it to the other guy and it was the worst thing I've ever seen, but that, that like just killed me. I started MMA uh, because of I got bullied when I was a kid. From about 13 I got assaulted in the early year. Nearly, nearly never came back, you see, so, so I thought, I had enough of this and all that, so I went for it, you know, just started the club at the uh, Fortnite Free Fight Gym. Just got battered everywhere by all the uh, doormen who came in, but little gym rat that I am, just uh, psh, had stuck in there, got pounded every day and stayed there continuously and eventually moved on to other martial arts, uh, ballet to go, uh, submission wrestling, boxing, Muay Thai boxing, the lot. And uh, for me, it was a natural progression, it went from grappling to striking and then combining the whole thing.